Hello, Fast Trackers, and welcome to 166. My name is Daryl, and I'm in Sydney, Australia, and it looks like an absolutely beautiful Monday morning here. I know it's called the Sunday Show, but we're in the land down under down here. There's only 20, what, 5 million people, 26 million people in this huge continent of ours. I can see a little crescent moon up there. And um, the Pacific Ocean's just out my window here. And if you look at the planet Earth at the right angle, you can get, get it to a point where you can just see the Pacific Ocean. Hardly anything else. So it's a long way from here around to the next bit of land, which is America. So it's amazing, isn't it, what we're doing here? I'm sitting in my little studio, and you're in your house, and we're doing this. It's fantastic. Welcome. 166. That's a little tune called Waltz for Debbie by Bill Evans, a great jazz pianist from the 50s and 60s. And I played it at the jazz. Hopefully we're working, yes. I played it at the jazz on uh, Friday night. And what a great night it was. My mum came down and my sister from um, Lennox Head, which is an hour's flight from here. It's about nearly 500 miles away. Um, and it was, it was just a great night. I played that. But <laughs> when I play it on my own, I'm okay. But when I play it, when the band comes in and you've got to improvise, it's a whole different ball game. I've played this a few times on the show. There's 47 chords, and if you miss one, you get lost. It's really hard to know where you get where you're up to. But I'm going to keep working on it, folks. And the best way for me to do that is to keep playing it, practice it, and to do it. Here we go, here's the big word, slowly. That's the one we've got to remember, slowly. Let your brain take it in. Don't let your fingers run away, because if they run away, you know, you, you're relying on instinct and muscle memory. And if you haven't got the tune in your head really, really, really subtly, then things can go wrong pretty easily. I better say hello. Ah, yeah, it was a great weekend. And it looks like a beautiful day today. Sunrise will be there in about another 15 minutes. Um, oh, who we got here? Adrian, are you on today? <laughs> G'day, Stephen. How are you? Um, Andrea, hi. Judith! <laughs> I can't help myself but be silly with these things. Dion! Oklahoma! Where the wind comes spreading down the plains. How are you? Welcome! Good morning! 
Oh, what a beautiful morning. How does that go? Uh, da, 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 da. Now it has this really weird chord. Morning. It goes to B flat. Oh, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got this wonderful feeling. Nothing's getting on my way. Where's a green doodle down on the meadow? There's a great do 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 What about this next line? The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. Fancy coming up with that. Oscar Hammerstein the second. Brilliant. <laughs> do you think that'll do, Richard? Do you think we'll do that? Can we put that? The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. What do you think? Yeah, put it in. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful morning. See, that's... That's tension. You can think of, uh, um, you know, Richard Rogers and Hammerstein as being sort of corny, but they were brilliant. They really knew how to write a song. Um, <clears throat> and that's normal. Now you got a B. You got that tension and release. And that's what makes the songs interesting. If they didn't have that, they'd be boring songs that go something like this. But it doesn't. bit of blues there really hey listen I had a blues package uh, on the weekend I sent out an email to everybody Blues package. Now, just for our Sunday show viewers who bother to watch me on a Sunday night, thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be here. No, <laughs> there's no point me being here just doing this thing all by myself. I thank you for my regulars and, and, and the new people. If you're new to the show, please say hello. Just say hello on the chat there and just say, hey, Daryl, I'm in Antarctica. <laughs> it's cold down here. Whatever. Um, yeah, the blues pack. 50% discount. Check it out. I'll just put it on now. Yeah, you talk amongst yourselves. There it is. Now the blues thing. What is the blues? Well, here's Boogie Woogie. bunch of boogie woogie left hands which I haven't even got into yet you know things like and a whole lot of other ones you've seen them on the internet these people that have really studied it hard you know now the blues is basically you could say it's just hello Woodscraft how are you uh, you're here in Switzerland. Oh, I saw a distressing picture of um, a um, uh, uh, a glacier that had melted through the hot heat um, from all the hot weather you've having up there. Let's keep it happy, Daz. Keep it happy. Keep it happy. Keep it happy. Yeah. Talking about happy, there's a guy, he's, guy he, he, who has written a lot of happy songs. And a friend of mine gave me 
gave me their uh, a book he'd been given for Christmas, and I've just started looking at it. And it basically, it's um, Paul McCartney's lyrics. They've picked 154 songs, and they're talking. It's a beautiful book. It's got the lyrics on one side and the story of the songs on the other. And um, I've only just begun. We've only just begun. And I'm really looking forward to reading that. That's that's really nice. And talking about... And now there's a guy who writes happy songs. <laughs> happy love songs. I look around me and I see it isn't so. Songs. He sings it up an octave, of course, I can't get up there. And what's wrong with that? I'd like to know, for here I go again. song and it's uh, a C chord I'll get back to the blues in a minute <laughs> uh, E minor 7 and then right next door F major 7 that's it that's most of the song C chord which is the same as letter B C chord now E minor 7 Hello Hartmut, how are you? Man, the coffee's kicked in big time. Yes, Adrian, it's good to see you. Peter, how are you? Um, good to see you, Peter. And Jack from my, 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 Massachusetts. I Lovely chords. C. I love you. G'day, Chris. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. Oh, Daryl, get off that. I'm not. I'm on the wrong thing. See, I haven't got enough staff here. There's only me. And Kermit. <laughs> and Mr. Bean. You're an idiot. Mm. I got nine pars of golf last week. Again. Then I played about three games that were absolutely atrocious. You know what it's like. You wake up in the morning. You go over to the piano. And you played something really well yesterday. I love you. So you can see those chords, you couldn't see them before. Sorry about that. And for some reason, today you're not playing it right. I love you. It's just like golf. One day you can hit the ball in the hole. Next day it goes straight past or falls straight to the left or to the right. What's going on there? <laughs> it's life, isn't it? It's life. That's okay. As Beethoven said, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, as long, but it's unforgivable if you don't play with passion. You've got to play with passion. If you make a few mistakes, so what? That's human. I like that. And that's probably what Mr. McCartney did. He probably was just sitting at the piano and he played those chords and thought, oh, I like those chords. What am I going to put to that? Red cabbage is beautiful. Orange carrots are nicer still. Nah, nobody's going to want to hear that. People do like songs about personal relationships. Yeah. I love Meditate on those chords.
All I'm doing is playing notes out of C major scale in the right hand. You had four inches of rain the other day. Holy smokes. <laughs> I've actually rung the... We've, we've had a terrible amount of rain here this year. Oh, it's dried off a bit now. We're getting some nice weather, but... Yeah, I'm getting a guy in to look at the roof. How pretty is this? It's not what you do, it's the way you do it. Ooh. I'll show you a few tricks. Okay, so you've got a C chord, and you've got an E minor 7, and an F major 7. Stick to one note. Pick a note. Let's pick a C. Pretty safe. Let's find out. Sounds all right at the start. That's a little weird, isn't it? That's because we've got a C, which is not part of the chord. But it sort of sounds okay because we're going to fix it up. Because we've fixed it up now. We've put a band-aid on it. We've gone F mad 7. Oh, by the way, the blues package is 50% discount. 50% discount for all the, all the people um, watching the show today. For five minutes to the end of the show. If I get in the car and go off to golf... And I can see there on my phone, not that I should be looking at the phone, um, somebody's somebody's actually got, got the discount. So it's only for five minutes after the show, not tomorrow. It's for people who have watched the show, which I really appreciate. Like I said to the jazz people the other night, we had a pretty well a full room again. I said, if you weren't here, we wouldn't be here. It's all together, isn't it? no point being in an empty room playing beautiful music for, for the walls. So thank you. Okay, let's try a different note. Let's try a D. See what that sounds like. Weird. Uh, sort of okay. That's all right. That's sort of okay. You really need to move around. You really need to move around from, ooh, like a bird in a tree. You know, I'm on this branch. Okay, at the moment, whoops, the magpie is getting close, so I'll hop onto the next branch. You know, you got to start moving around. You can't just stay there forever. So um, let's move around a little bit, see what happens. Let's start on a G this time. Starting to tell a story. You know, a lot of people are uncomfortable doing this. Why? It's only the piano. It's not going to hurt you. I'll show you how to play some really bad notes. Here we go. Any black notes. Now, that's bad. Yeah? Keep away from from that. But any of the white notes should be all right. For this particular little piece. All right, I'm going on and on and on, am I? I better say hello to a few people. Um, oh, we've got a few people are saying hello all over the place. That's fantastic. Medley of Texas songs, Judith. Okay, why don't you put on one of your little hats and um, send us a little video. I might feature it on the show. I don't know too many Texas songs. I do love um, some some Texan movies. I love Giant, you know, with um, Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean. That's a fantastic film. Uh, yeah, that's in Texas, isn't it? I think so. Old film. So whip crack away, whip crack away, whip crack away. Um, how does that song start? I need someone to sing. Mm, da -da -da -da. I can't remember the first bit. Um, okay, I need 
I'm just going through. This last week's weather was really hot, but now it seems to cool down here. Oh, that's good. I'm glad it's cooled down. I should play the song of the week, which is in the song shop. Here's the song shop. Song of the week. Last week it was the. Um, we're having a bit of a Paul McCartney thing, weren't we? Uh, that was last week. Somebody bought it. I can't remember who it now. It might have been Peter. How, how'd you go with it, Peter? Anyway, the next one is is another Beatle tune. Now um, we all know that they 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 they. they they spend about three hours writing a song. They go in, John and Paul will uh, have a meeting and say, okay, we've got to write a song, what are we going to do? And this day, Paul uh, caught a cab, a uh, taxi, over to John's place, and he he was just talking to the taxi driver, and he said, um, oh, how's your week been? And, he sa- and the taxi driver said, oh, uh, I've been really busy, uh, busy eight days a week. Catching butterflies. You've heard me mention this before. Catching butterflies. Now, Paul caught a butterfly. He got the title from um, that taxi driver, whom he probably never saw again. And he went in to see John and said, hey, listen, this is a taxi driver. Just said eight days a week. That sounds pretty good. That's a pretty good song title. Why don't we, why don't we write that? So they did. Here it is. Tension and release there. Nah, that's tension enough to show a bit of tension there. Eight days a week. It's in the song shop. You can have fifty percent discount on it if you want to learn it. It's there. I'm going to do another classroom um, this this next month. Uh, so it'll be next Thursday, I think. Not this Thursday, the f- following Thursday. Now, the Jazz Club. Uh, yes, it's going to be the Jazz Club. We did one about uh, six weeks ago. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. young girl who comes here to the studio she sang uh, down at the jazz the other night i was so proud of her she um she's been learning to accompany herself on the piano with big fat chords and she did a song called out here on my own from fame the musical she's been learning that and it's not easy one and she's never sung in public before and accompanied herself. She's always had somebody else help her out or played a karaoke tape or something like that. But she got up there the other night and she was very nervous. She said, aren't you going to play with me? And I said, uh, She's used to me playing the double bass or guitar or something. And I said, no. Nope. <laughs> and you could hardly see the music. The light was really bad. I had to hold the iPhone up to the music so she could see it. And she did it. It was perfect. It was brilliant. I was so proud of her. Brilliant. Big fat chords, folks. Big fat chords. Um, good on you. You're working hard at it, uh, are you, Peter? That's fantastic. Right, we've only got six uh, six minutes left. I can't remember. I've gone up so many dark alleys today. I, I don't know where I'm up to anymore. <laughs> um, eight days a week. What were we going to do with that? in the key of G. So it's got one sharp, F sharp. 
And it's got interesting chord. The second chord is interesting. It's not part of the scale. Um, in G major, here are the six common chords. G, A minor, B minor, C. You've got to know them, folks. You've got to know your chords. You've got to know them. Yes, you do. You can't be stuck in C every time. You've got to try different keys. Now, the second chord they're using is not A minor. They put a C sharp in there. C sharp? What? What? Yeah, the second chord's A. There it is. Now I'm going to play eight days a week using the proper chords. Now A, C sharp. But A is not part of G major. Let's play A minor instead. Let's stick to the rules. Let's stick to the rules. Here we go. It doesn't sound like it. One little note changes the whole sound of the song. Here it is again. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's got to have the C sharp. Now, about the same time, there was a Rolling Stones song that used the same sort of thing. Here it is. <laughs> if I can remember it. Dun, 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 dun. Now, if you'd like Judith to put a little Texan hat on and sing a, a Texan medley for us for the, for the next show. Say hello. Say, Judith, yeah, get it, get it, get your act together. That would be fun. Oh, by the way, last week, I don't know if Manuel's there. Yeah, hello, Manuel. Um, I got blocked. I got, got the monetization of... The video, not that I make anything, I, you know how much money I make from the, these videos going on? A couple of cents. It's not about the money though, is it? It's about the flag waving and saying hello to folks and hope they will go onto my website and check out all the stuff I've got there for you. Um, that's why I keep doing it, other than the fact that you say hello each, each, each Sunday evening, which is wonderful. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know. I've gone off track, Daz. You've gone off track. Um, as tears go by. I was playing. Oh, no. That's right. We did a Tom Waits song last week. And YouTube picked it up and and um, they, they've, they've uh, demonetized the video. So I can't play things off Spotify uh, during the show. Otherwise, all my videos get uh, demonetized. Not that I'm making a million bucks out of it or anything. Uh, what have we got here? Beautiful sunshine coming through. It's going to be a great day at golf. So here we go. Um, we've got one more minute, Daz. One more minute. Uh, yes, <laughs> Avery. You, 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 um, you're looking forward to Judith doing her video? Yellow Roads of Texas. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sure you've got some gear there, Judith, that you can uh, get dressed up in. You practice through the week and see how you go. Okay, we're going to have to finish up, folks. Um, this is 166. <laughs> um, and it's good to see you. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll say goodbye. And I hope you enjoy the show. What did we learn today? Nothing! No, we didn't. I played you um, Song for Debbie, Waltz for Debbie. And I told you about how difficult it is for me to, to, to remember all those chords during improvising. Um, we did uh, eight days a week. We also did a, li oh, a little bit of blues piano. 
This is the blues. The blues is like Boogie Woogie, only slowed down and a lot more grungy. Yeah, a lot more grungy. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, and I'll see you next week for 100 and... 67 so um uh if you enjoyed the show today and you'd like you'd like to encourage me to keep getting up at 5 30 on a monday morning here in sydney australia um feel free to uh throw something in the bucket <laughs> it doesn't matter how small it is or write me a nice note that's uh that's always good so I'm going to go and go. Enjoy your evening or morning or whatever it is. And I'll see you next week for 167. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do 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 do. I just saw that, Chris. Um, I'll try and do that before I leave. Thank you. Bye bye, Miss American Pie.